Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we go over how to beat Luard, another very strong post GBT12 deck. It was really good when Belial Al came out, but Set12 gave it that extra to become even more dominant. As always, we'll first go over some typical things they might do or run, and then we'll discuss some tactics to actually counter them somewhat. But first, a message from our sponsor. Sponsored by Royalty Playmat Designs, the perfect way to get a custom and exclusively for you design for your Vanguard playmats. Choose your units, choose some or no zones, choose a tagline, a team name, the name of your bunny. Anything your heart desires at Royalty Playmat Designs. Getting right into it, for their starter we see two camps, either David or Creeping Dark Goat. There's some people playing random shit like the Trial Deck one or the Revenger guy, but they're just really unideal. And after set 12, Creeping Dark Goat kinda becomes better than David as well. They desperately need to ride Luart, riding Fodla will lose them the game. For triggers we see One-Eyed Raven which makes all their skills incredibly free, 4 Belial Owl because that card is busted, 4 heals and then a combination of crits, the magician that counts for 2 retires and even draws. For grade 3s we see 4 Luart, the obvious boss monster, 2-3 to three Fodla to fetch Belial Owl and then sometimes a shitty tech but overall I just stick to Luart and Fodla. For grade 2 we used to see 4 Morfessa and then a bunch of 10ks but recently we saw a switch to Grozne, the new grade 2 that snipes rear guards in the early game and now we still see 4 Morfessa though. Any combination of these can be expected. For grade ones, we see four Ezras, arguably the best perfect guard in the game, maybe second best after the ZTB one. Four Abyssal Owl for unflip, and then a combination of various decks they can fetch. This can be two stride folders because they have three strides later in the game, but they don't own the first stride, which they don't want to miss. They can also run Swordbreaker, maybe Night Sky Eagle for some offense, but this last one is run very rarely post GBT12. For grade 4s they run Drag Stride and Luar, their new insane huge boss monster. Aura Geyser Doomed, Aura Geyser Dragon, Sea Breeze, Spectral Blaster, some run Helheim, the GB8, Carnivore Dragon and also sometimes Ogma. We barely see any Phantom Blaster Diablo anymore, but keep in mind that it's still an option so don't get caught off guard. As you can see they have a lot of options. For G guards they just run the oh so powerful Plotmaker Dragon and then some techs. Getting into how to beat the deck, Tactic 1. Luard's on stride skill is a potential Belial Owl caller and will net them a lot of advantage because of that. It does however have one glaring weakness. There has to be a rear guard on the field to retire in order to make the two calls. So if you have a way of wiping their field, do so whenever you can. It will limit the advantage they can create. Tactic 2. Rush them hard. I realize this is becoming a trend in these how to beat videos, but it's really true. Luar just gets way too much advantage in the mid and long game. They will turtle you out of existence and then drag stride or GBA to finish you off for good. If you can get their hand size down a notch before they do the first stride Fodla Belial Doomed, you're in a really good position. Tactic 3. And this is a cheesy one, if you can, try to nuke their creeping dark goat, perhaps they'll miss the Luard right and virtually auto lose. Tactic 4, watch out for drag strider, save your guard, specifically G guards and zeros. It will destroy you if you're not prepared for it, it will have loads of power, free critical and you can't guard with grade 1 or higher from hand, save those G guards. Tactic 5, keep in mind that they usually play rainbow triggers, like mentioned earlier they have to run 4 Belial, 4 One-Eyed or the Magician along with Howl Owls, apart from that they usually call their Belials from deck to field, this means that their likelihood of getting criticals is relatively low. Don't be afraid to no guard the vanguard if you see most of their Belials are gone. Tactic 6, Get rid of Grosne, he's a huge beat stick and considering this deck runs stand triggers that they keep sending back to the deck, this guy gets scarier and scarier the longer he lives. Now that was it for this how to beat, overall Lord is a super strong deck right now, easily tier 1, so if you're running one of the lower tier decks this will be a very uphill battle, regardless of what tactics you use. Having said that, I hope this video was of help to you and gave you a few more tools to snag a win regardless. Subscribe to the Solemn Vanguard channel for more, let me know in the comments if you have any other Luard beating tricks or perhaps want to see another how to beat of another clan. Like the video if you liked the video and I will see you soon. Ciao!